Hi, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, session today. Um, it's eight o'clock and uh, let's start talking. So what I want to do today also uh, to, you know, go through the the watch list which we have which is the top top 100 watch list from from the top just to look at uh, just to look at you know uh, what kind of setups that uh, what kind of entries were available that we discussed yesterday what all triggered uh, what were the correct entries or perfect entries as uh, i like to call them and uh, what might be you know setting up uh, currently okay so so that's again the goal and uh, today i don't want uh, this session to go uh, one one hour long so we'll probably very quickly go through a couple of them and make it short and last five ten minutes maybe we can do uh, question answers as well i hope my screen is visible so you see uh, that uh, mota mota the top 100 list remains the same okay uh, in fact top uh, 50 mostly remains the same but shuffle happens so number 1 uh, shayad kabhi kabhi 4 5 mein chala jayega uh, number 10 will come and uh, break out, break in so edelwis was somewhere below uh, pretty sure it broke in in third position right now hai na couple of days ago uh, the gravita was like in top 10 uh, but now gravita is somewhere around 20 or something like that so but that is basically top one percent when you when you say hundred you know hundred stock is uh, basically top you know how much is it uh, is like top five percent right and uh, top five percent ka shuffle is fine okay so many times uh, when we when i started to figure out and you, let's say there will probably a lot of people also in the in the in, in the group, uh, when you start figuring out, you think that I don't want to miss any stock, you know, and that's why we run a lot of scanners. But uh, all the scanners, the the point we are doing, running the scanner is to find the strongest stock and uh, looking at this list bypasses all of them, you know. Okay, so let's uh, start. So Goldium was an entry today, okay. Uh, but that entry did not materialize and uh, it basically uh, this this high got taken out and that would have been the entry uh, and that's that's this is basically sometimes they uh, work on the same day sometimes they don't uh, and that's uh, we have to deal with it we have to be okay with that right so uh, as any goldium now will fail goldium can give the a follow through tomorrow or give the actual breakout tomorrow you know so so that the question then becomes key, uh, Prakash, what should we do if the stock uh, does not move in your direction immediately? Or uh, let's say it squats, although this is not a very big squat, but it still would technically be a squat, right? It broke out and then came back inside. Um, so you, you, you can do two things, one or two things. You can say that, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, carry this because this is now below my buy position. And that's a valid way to go about things. A lot of people do that. They don't, uh, they don't at all carry positions which are in red. Or you can say that, okay, I have committed to this and uh, I will now see the trade through, follow the plan, right? So if your stop loss was below the previous day low or the same day low, I, I'll, you make a decision that, okay, I will, uh, I will uh, see the trade, trade through. Uh, both of that works in the long run. I, I don't know like if one is better than the other, if one provides you more edge, um, I I would think so not, you know, because um, half of them, these, these guys will actually work out uh, today or tomorrow. Um, and if you uh, sometimes close the trade and if tomorrow it works out, then you're missing out. So both of uh, both uh, those uh, way to handle squat will have uh, pros and cons, okay? So POCL uh, gave another uh, up move today uh, and I sold. And this is a day when as a swing trader, you should at least de-risk if you've already entered on this day. You know, this was a PBC entry, PB entry would have been this day. So uh, like like a 20% kind of a move is 
decent you know for a swing trade in four days so this is what i mean by de-risk your trade de-risk your trade okay of course pocl can even do like 20 percent from here more but if you at least pocket some part of the gain of that 20 25 percent you've made uh, then you know that your account sort of moves and that's all you want as a swing trader um yeah edelweiss uh, gave you a fo follow through and right now i don't see any uh any uh, like there is no need to sort of de-risk yes you can say uh put a protective stop somewhere here if you are very wary of not giving back the gains but uh, one thing can can be done is like you can shift your stop loss to break even you know and let's say tomorrow if it moves again six to seven percent then say then your total uh 14 15 percent is a decent enough gain for a swing trade in three days especially when the market conditions are uh like you know like people are complaining of uh shitty market blah 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 and when you are getting 14 15 percent in three days then you should de-risk as a swing trader okay all of this discussion is from from for a swing traders point of view um so kitex again today because um, uh, now kitex what might happen uh, again kitex can go sideways and wait for the 10 ma to uh, sort of come and then you could say that okay this is like a like a like a base on base sort of a structure and then it might again move but if you have already got in here then you already are 14 15 percent above so what de-risk if you don't want to sell you at least put a protective stop <clears throat> so i am in balu forge uh, this, that was sort of an anticipation entry and uh, uh, main like a tightness breakout entry would be above this and one can actually even if i'm invested i can uh, if you add on this also it's not a bad thing because you already made an entry here so your stop loss would anyways be very small the next uh, entry would like uh, totally even if you add one more position let's say like i add a 10 percent today let's say i add like five percent more or ten percent more the combined stop loss would still be so small that like it still makes sense you know so <clears throat> um so uh Rayfix, there is no entry n double it today could have been a day where you should de-risk pc jeweler there is nothing to do uh hopefully uh, there will be a couple of more ucs uh before you before you de-risk um ifl seek again if you had entered anywhere here you you move your protective stops move your protective so sometimes on a daily chart it's very difficult to array stop stop loss kaha lagana hai, you know uh, <clears throat> like one way people do it is uh the daily low daily low ke niche Agar daily low uh nickel gaya to fir, then then what happens is if you do that then then us day ka low you are again giving up right so one way i sort of prefer is to go on like a 25 minute time frame and hunt for better pivots so in this case there is a pivot here that would also again be giving up a lot so you have to you have to take a call okay there is no right or wrong here uh, uh, but the only right or wrong is that ek bar 10 15 percent mil gaya do teen din mein usko at least aadha leke aana hai market ko wapas nahi dena hai that's the only right right uh, right thing so scpc i'm pretty sure we discussed this yesterday and it was a very nice uh, breakout and today broke out with volume and yeah so the expectation is that it'll at least move two or three days but at least aaj ka jo 14 15% hai mila usme se if you uh, uh, entered like let's say here around so you'll be like up 8 to 10% you at least save that you at least save that hai na because 10% for a swing trader with a 3% stop loss is already 3x. You save 3x. There is no giving back. Um, platinum industry is again getting tighter and tighter. And uh, like the price waited for the MA to catch up uh, and did not come back. And these are more stronger than pullbacks. More pen second day, uh, slightly uh, like some selling is coming. And this is very normal. Like they will go up five days come back three four days go up for like you know so there is no setup here no setup here nelco was a setup remember yesterday what i told you if the previous high is taken out after such a inside bar you enter so if you'd enter nelco today that would have been a good entry either above this or above the uh, the mother inside bar ka day high hai na? so hopefully if tomorrow uh, uh, another move comes eight eight to ten percent kind of a, the the move then then you are already like 10% up and then you de-risk. If you get 2x, de-risk. 2.5x, de-risk. 
um yeah uh, like amazing stock just going on no uh, web solar today was an entry so this is again a breakout entry like previous uptrend uh, uh flag mast waited for the 1021 to catch up breakout that's a breakout entry now kal parso ye upar jayega niche jayega you don't know but that you cannot you you can never be sure most people most new traders try to find that something which will tell ki acha ye jayega there there is nothing like that okay e2 e networks this again yesterday it was an entry uh holding companies are doing extremely well just and uh, yeah going on and on um yeah sky gold this was an entry but uh, after that it has again come back to sort of retest the uh, breakout level and if i were holding this here i would be still patient uh, on this trade aill this is this is a this is a possible entry couple of, um, could be tomorrow could be next day could be like a, a shake out candle come come and test the 21 and then go up you know so that's why uh, uh entries which are anticipation slightly are more risk actually uh so godfrey although this is pulling back but it's still some uh, distance away uh, 10 so i don't like to uh, at least for me to have that the pullback anticipation entry at least 10 pe to matlab chahiye pgel amazing <coughs> entry on this and then like four five days of see had you entered on this and next day there's a red candle are are bhai bhai nahi chala hai na so chal gaya do teen din baad so be patient indra press medicos great entry Three four days of this one, and so today it could have been a day uh, uh, two. It's like a doji. Uh, prices are, are, are not willing to move, even when the volumes are sort of uh, similar to the previous three days. So that means that like supply is coming in, है ना? तो supply and demand is sort of balanced right now. So uh, there is a fifty fifty chance that it can now pull back. So you don't give give it back. You you de risk. um iwl so not a not a very great looking flag but decent uh, you know there is a setup there um sundaram uh, pulling back now these are these these finance uh, companies uh, financial companies uh, uh, are are on a sort of a stealth bull run now okay um so if this guy a uh, pulls back to the 1021 that would be a very very interesting or not interesting very high probability trade uflex so we discussed yesterday i think uh, um kunal pointed out you know uh, one of uh, in the one of the scanner also this was a setup so today was an entry um rpsg yes so this is this was entry entry i mean this is a setup now uh the the pbc has not still triggered the pbcs will trigger only when the price moves up uh, above the previous day high so if someone had anticipated yesterday then you would have sort of maybe had your stop loss taken out if you if you are anticipating and not having a smaller stop loss then there is no point of anticipating because anticipation you are doing because you are getting a smaller stop loss because if you don't anticipate here and take a uh, take a breakout entry then you will have a longer bigger stop loss so if you are anticipating and not putting a stop loss then you are doing it all wrong because if you are unable to sell it here you will not be able to sell here if you are not able to sell sell here you will not be able to sell here right so that's <coughs> that's the <coughs> that's the side of psychology uh, 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 we have to uh, we we have to tame um so gspl uh, now forming a flag and uh, it's still way above uh, 10 so uh, i would if it can break out tomorrow for sure it can break out but generally i am not very uh, uh, keen on you know uh, uh trading like this 3 day kind of a uh, kind of a flag thoda sa lamba hone se it it makes more sense but it's a very good uh, structure very very good setup like you can see that bullishness like there is a there is a stamp of bullishness in this you know the kind of volumes it had and uh, uh, things like that no entry here no entry here so gravita now uh, uh, 
if anyone had bought the pullback then you would have you would be still in like some uh, you know 10 percent 10 percent is good enough right? um, uh, i entered on this day uh, and uh, i'm still holding this trade uh, but this trade is now like now uh, now this 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 base is now becoming slightly bigger and bigger base breakouts are even better okay but it's just that to form that big base breakout it'll take some time it might take some time uh, but judging from volumes like you know stealth stealthily three days last three days volumes is coming the uh, the the delivery uh, uh, volume is also increasing uh, just like the volumes so I believe that you know then up move is uh, up move is around the corner here uh pre cam yeah so the three day tight above this is a breakout entry godrage this is tandem inside bar so this is an inside bar like very small inside bar this is a mother bar and this inside bar is even like a like a smaller uh <coughs> candle inside the already small inside bar so this is also sort of a setup very strong stocks they don't base uh like more than sometimes more than two three days and they just basically make very small bars inside bars uh, around the big mother candle and then they again go for like a kind of a couple of moves so for example another example of something like this would have been today um, that uh, uh, that recycling stock oh. NRL. NRL yeah so thanks um, so so for example like this uh, although it uh, did like a base for like four days but imagine uh, something like this like you know very after like a huge bar then it gets very tight uh, with a huge like volume contraction price contraction and, and after that another this sort of a bar will come so something like that uh, will might happen in Godrej industries as well so uh, like to catch this you will have to be like it's just that I have not uh, traded this kind of setups so much more so that uh, to uh, to sort of seek or gain that affinity ki hai, mere ko ye hai. so uh, but definitely there is a setup here is is the point tasty bite today is can be can we can say a pullback uh, uh, PBC we can also maybe say a DTL base uh, breakout entry because it actually uh, broke out of this sort of a DTL but a more a more uh, confirmed sort of entry would be like uh, uh, above this because you can see that one two three three days high was on the same level and then uh, thoda sa dip and then today again it you know so it could it could be that tomorrow and uh, the next day there can be like a two inside bar and when that breaks out that would be a really really good entry okay and this also has bullishness written all over it like something has happened here i don't know uh, but this would not happen without something happening you know I mean, although uh, I'm not a fundamental or like the, the news sort of a guy, I don't know the news, but I know like something has happened. You know, by just by looking at price. Chaplin point, uh, there is no entry there. Uh, Stokecraft, again, like this is like a one-sided uh, uh, up move. And after that, like first two days of uh, pullback. So I'm not very convinced. Uh, it, these are the names that could like sort of make a more elaborate base. So... Uh, Markasa uh, Pharma again same thing like uh, first inside bar could be a couple of inside inside bar again then again boom because uh, once uh, sector are in um, they like they are strong and they sort of tend to become more stronger uh, Fino payment bank uh, now this is a probably a new entry uh, I did not see it uh, or maybe yesterday we did not scroll it to itna niche so Fino Payment Bank, you can see that like this was, this is basically tightness breakout entry, right? Uh, uptrend, tightness, uh, 10 catches up, breaks out, went, goes up, uh, price waits for the 10 to catch up and then again, bam. So this will repeat, okay? And uh, this uh, would, an entry would have been like till 427, 429 also rather, you know. Um, there is some sound coming someone's mic is on so if you could please switch it off uh, it would be really good sriram properties now uh, after this three days of up move this is like a like a very sluggish up move this could be actually a basing action the basing action itself has a slope because sabko kharidna hai aur kharidna hai, aur hai and sometimes then this three three day kind of up move will again come here like this um, these are yeah 
um, yeah, th that could come. Okay, but again, I'm personally not very uh, adapt to uh, trading this kind of things. But uh, that's the observation I've made. Inox wind again, th there is a setup here. It's a slightly more longer, elaborate base. But at some point of time, because of the volume, because of the price, what it is telling us is that hey, uh, there are uh, this 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 stock is in strong hands. Uh, not much selling is happening. Price is maintaining its level. You know. Um, same here. Sindhu Trade Link, Polymedicure, JM Financials. Yeah. So these names are like in in a stealth uptrend now. So just like you know, two weeks ago we uh, uh, talked about how small cap pharma stocks are in an uptrend, and then I was, and then if you remember, I said at the time that. Right now there is no entry, but very soon they will give you flag entries and lot of them gave us flag entries. So similar thing will happen here as well. The, the likes of this JMA financials, whatever, like Sundaram, this, that, blah, blah, blah. All of them are now like going this, uh, uh, making the, the poll at some point of time, they will come back and, you know, uh, uh, pull back to the 1021. And then that is the time when uh, us as short term traders, swing traders have a low risk entry, right? So we have to we have to be able to uh, wait till that office space solution. Yeah, clearly, this is something which we discussed yesterday and today would have been a low cheat entry. Low cheat entry is nothing but like a tightness entry, which is at the third, uh, like lower third of the base. And this is all minor vini lingo. And you could also say that this is pullback confirmation entry. It's it's uh, yeah, both of them uh, are are true. So this would have been a great entry. Hana? So uh, if you had like a loaded position, then low of the day would have been a good, is a good stop loss. If you have like a like five to ten percent kind of a kind of a position, and you want to give this uh, some more wiggle room, uh, so that you want to eventually uh, play it long, then maybe low of the low of the low of the swing uh, is also a good place to put your stops. Um, yeah, so. Again, on hindsight, you can say that even after three days, up move chala gaya yaha pe, yaha pe le leta, to bhi mere ko itna up padta, you know, these are all hindsight. Sometimes, uh, yes, stock, stock is strong, ye chala jayega. But you never know, you never know. You never know if on this day, if you entered here, on this day, you would have, your stocks would have triggered or not, you know. So that's why always, always make sure that, make it a habit of getting into things in a, in a low risk area. So once you make that habit, then, you just have to uh, uh, make a habit of like getting into stronger stocks. That's it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So if you if this got if this got triggered, uh, yeah, you just rishta nivao iske saal. Um, yeah. So uh, also maybe uh, if if the base is like fuzzy, like it's not tight, you know. So uh, maybe you can even if it's a strong stock, you can. Choose not to trade that. Veranda. So uh, this day would have been sort of an entry. This is a tightness breakout entry. Uh, V2 retail. Uh, I don't know. Matlab, naam se hi mere ko pata nahi. Matlab, I, I don't want to trade this. But it's a very strong stock. Uh, every time it has come to uh, 1021, it has moved up. So uh, there is a very high chance. At least more than 50% chance. Uh, that this will again follow the same pattern you know so then then one could have entered today that would have been an anticipation entry or you just put a gtt above 1135.15 and uh, that's your uh, that's your pullback confirmation entry and uh, once you are inside then just pray and hope that uh, things work in your favor you can have like a six percent kind of a stop loss and uh, if you get 13 percent that's two r uh, two three days and uh, and and you de-risk. Optimus today was a good action. Um, I believe this will also be a very good uh, PBC entry in the coming days. Uh, time techno, yeah. Again, like it's very difficult to sort of as like the tightness traders, swing traders, very difficult to uh, trade uh, these kind of days. Like let's say you entered here, and hopefully your uh, your stop loss is still intact and then you are you are in a profit in this trade but sometimes it's difficult like uh but that doesn't mean that st stock is not strong it's very strong stock 
um, Enup, yeah, I mean, a risky entry, but could still enter here. I mean, this is like a flag now. Last two days is uh, like a like a sort of a breakout. Uh, but the thing is, better better setups uh, than Anup are there. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, this is again pulling back to the ten now and uh, getting tight like one, two, three, four, five, six days. This is sort of small bullish action, and uh, any price up move from this imaginary one horizontal line or one slanting line is your entry. Uh, Noyland. Um, it's like very inching every day, inching, 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 inching. One fine day, it'll, it'll again do boom, you know, like like this kind of a candle. So, yeah. So had you taken this entry, you would have been uh, in a sort of a decent gain, all albeit like a very slow mover, like eight percent gain, and uh, and maybe then you could have given your chance to capture this move whenever it comes. Um, yeah, so this is another like slightly longer consolidation and I, I like longer consolidations better um, because uh, like the, 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 the bigger the base, this up move also tends to be longer or sharper or more. Right? So Suraj Estate Developers Limited is again, a, a, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a good setup. Harium pace uh, again the, the 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 price action is not very tight so one could uh, wish to not trade this having said that doesn't mean it's a not strong stop uh, no entry right now in Genesis uh, ENB housing yeah maybe maybe this would have been a uh, like a big base breakout entry which is more suited for positional so as our entry loge to uh, if you put stop loss right below slightly slightly the chances of hitting getting hit is higher so maybe the swing lows are better um, yeah shola mandalam yeah could could be an entry slightly extended today yesterday would have been a better entry kingfa now kingfa is also another uh, 1021 surfer so you can see that first time it supported second time third time to the fourth time right so um till it is uh, till till the till the time it is doing this again and again you can have a bias that it's going to do that again anantraj was an entry today um uh, so this was a sort of a pullback confirmation slash your tightness entry So yeah, so this asset management companies are in a stealth, uh, stealth uh, bull run. Uh, tips Industries, this is actually a very, very nice setup. Uh, uh, and uh, my anticipation is, my bias is that it is going to break out on the upside, like very soon. Uh, MPS could also uh, be called an entry uh, uh, today. So yeah, Piramel this day would have been a good entry. K fintech. Now this is also uh, very similar to the 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 finance uh, sort of uh, names. So and and you you see that this guy also has a certain character, like like one or two days of like high volume boom, and then no volume activity of sideways. You know. This one is more of a pullback, meaning that like it's slightly not very strong. The, the, the strength is right now not as strong as when it was here. Uh, but having said that, this is a very strong buying level. No, this, this level has been supported. So uh, in my opinion, a very long risk. I mean, sorry, not, not long risk, very low risk currently. Um, yeah, so things like this, uh, right now there is no entry. So uh, wait for, wait for this, wait for this and take my word, it will come. Okay. Uh, Motilal OFS, very nice pullback and uh, up four days. BPL uh, getting tighter. Bagira the chemical. This is a very nice, very nice setup. So, 
एंड दीज दीज सेटअप ज़्यादा दिमाग लगाने की ज़रूरत नहीं है राइट सो दैट सेटअप इज़ वेरी क्लियर लाइक अब दिस इज़ बाई बिलो दिस इज नॉट नॉट बाई स्टिल है ना ओके सो आई स्टॉप हियर सो मे बी मे बी वी आर वेरी क्लोज टू सो एस एम एस फार्मा वुड हैव बिन एन एंट्री टूडे बट इट इन मेटीरियल आई सो वॉट टू डू इन दिस देर आर ओनली टू थिंग्स यू कैन डू यू कैन आई दिस आई एम नॉट कैरिंग समथिंग इन रेड और यू कैन से दैट रिश्ता निभाएंगे है ना सो सो यू हैव टू चूज लाइक आई डोंट नो विच वन इज बेटर लाइक आई कैन आई कैन टेल यू विच ट्रेडर्स फॉलो ए एंड विच ट्रेडर्स फॉलो बी राइट आई डोंट नो वाई डे डू दैट आई फॉर नाउ करेंटली डू नॉट नो ऑफ एनी रीजन लाइक वाई वन वुड बी बेटर दैन दी आदर जय बालाजी दिस वॉज एन एंट्री दिस वॉज अ दिस वॉज अ खेला हो बे एंट्री दिस वॉज अ पीक पोजिशनल बिग बेस ब्रेकआउट एंट्री and uh, yeah it's very difficult to uh, uh, these are all very hindsightly uh, stuff i'm talking about uh, currently on this uh, but yeah um lupin this was a great entry i remember uh, i remember like uh, posting this one night and then you just have to like follow the trend you know and uh, <clears throat> the the big large caps are even better because in that like taking away the stop loss is like not a Does not happen as as frequently, so one can uh, be okay and still you know trade uh, uh, with less uh, less headache. Um, all right, so yeah, so I'm pretty sure there are ample names uh, here uh, for tomorrow uh, for you to put it in your watch list. Okay, I for one is uh, will be mostly concentrating on Balu Forge. and uh, yeah i'm not sure i i might have some some cash lying around so if uh, if opportunity comes then i'll probably uh, try and get in here uh, and make the position even bigger and that's it i will now take questions if you guys have any prakash um, good evening and good evening all so Hi. do you uh, uh, you use leverage also No, I am not at that stage uh, where I uh, use leverage. Yeah. Oh, I mean, not is at this stage. I don't understand. Yeah. So I uh, don't uh, think I am that experienced to be, you know, uh, using leverage. Uh, maybe a couple of years down the line, I'll start. I don't use leverage for now. Hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, Monish, can you talk to your microphone? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Thanks. So typically, pullbacks can happen from the ten, like uh, ten to ten. Uh, yes, I can hear you. Yeah, but I mean, even the five is a long time. The stocks can bounce from the five as well. Hmm. So is it better? You know, just try and run off with the five because then that's almost like an anticipation in his mind. Yeah, so uh, uh, I touched upon that. Like uh, one of the stock, I think it was still way above the ten, uh, but the price action was very uh, look look like really a good uh, uh, good pullback, you know, and tight. Even if it was away from uh, this one, and maybe if I put a maybe if i'd put out at a 5 ma uh maybe if i put I, a 5 ma i took i i got into summit today and i had the 5 ma on <laughs> when i looked at that stock the last run up it would bounce from the 5 it would have these little red candles yeah. from the 5 yeah and then it would just bounce from yeah. there so, so that's my sort of right thing. so it for example anup here you know, i'm pretty sure this would have been like a 5 bouncer um just a minute okay let me plot the five as well so you see anup was a five bouncer right yeah so, so you basically look at the stock's characteristic yes yes if it's bouncing yes. or something then yes. there's chances it will yes because frankly these are just imaginary lines and 1021 most of them follow and uh, that is why like okay now it is at a pop 
a place where there is value it's not extended right and uh, very strong stock might uh, like you said uh, follow a shorter uh, ma uh, and a lot of people also use 5 ma although i don't use it extensively um yeah so it makes sense to use 5 as well okay thanks cheers man thanks uh share thoughts on ekc short ekc everest kanto uh yeah so e- ekc is also really strong <clears throat> now it might not uh, come in uh, the my top 100 there might be some reason uh, not sure why i have some liquidity filters as well so maybe that could be one reason but anyways this is also very strong uh, name 1021 surfer as you can see that every time it comes 1021 gets tighter and bounces and ekc today would have been a pbc entry and uh, a very a very nice pbc entry uh uh please share your thoughts on hscl and jibril hscl yeah hscl also is a uh, like this is a very peculiar stock when all the chemicals were down this was the this this was the guy like uh, on pushpa mode you know like main nahi jhukega and uh, currently uh, although this day and this day were squads but they were they were valid they were valid uh, uh breakout entries okay and uh, then the question becomes uh, once it squads what should i do then uh, it's just you have to decide you know um just like a lot of other things in life uh, you just decide that i'll follow this and uh, there are there are two choices you follow one of them currently i am not sure which one is better uh, if you somehow sort of figure out why that w- one is better than the other you just follow that maybe <clears throat> maybe psychologically it's better for you to uh stick to a stock which you chose because if you hop to another stock and if that previous stock does well then psychologically you don't do better if that's the case then you hold that if if you are still holding this and you see that something else which was setting up has gone up and you feel more bad then you cut you know like maybe these are the things you need to weigh up uh, i'm not sure um hi ajib jibril g a b r i b l so gabriel is getting tighter and tighter um mostly the this this day and this day would have been the the base sort of breakout day uh vcp uh, after that it again is going sideways so it's sort of like a base on base kind of a structure and there is a clear pivot here um my anticipation is that there is a, like a big candle coming uh, now i don't know when it is going to come um uh, but above this uh, would be uh, the entry ball is on the 52 another one sorry if i if i may no pro- yeah sure yeah, yeah. so goldie and we spoke about right when when we started yeah. now goldie and the pbc sort of happened today but it squatted, squatted. yeah so it's still an opportunity there right so if it yes. again takes out the red candles high yes. although it will was an attempt today yes. we could still get in right yes. doesn't matter doesn't matter we can still get in tomorrow then, yeah so that it cuts through today's uh, candle and that's fine we don't have to take out today's high or is that maybe see a, a better to... way a better uh, a better entry would be like if this g- today's high also gets taken out because then there is also another pivot here no the previous high the like the this is the high of the base uh, high of the base base of the high, high of the base So this was the highest point in the last this this uh, basing period, and that was exactly where it found supply and came back. Okay, so I guess that's the trade off. So either you go in for like a tight put entry. Yes, yes, you yes. Put. You you are trading like a better price for a uh, for a less confirmation, and yeah, you are you are getting in later than with more confirmation. You are getting a slightly uh, slightly not so lucrative price. So the way I see it is that uh, the there was some supply from here uh, that materialized, but the supply was not very strong, so that stock uh, went down. It actually closed 
above yesterday's low and above yesterday's close also right so that means that like stock may strength to have bhi it just that right now the buying power was not so much that it uh, pushes the stock to new highs um and uh, this also is a very good uh, it's it's a, it's a very good setup yet now the one thing that can happen before it actually uh, takes off is that something like this you know and that would be like the 2t so this is 1t and uh, there could be another t here uh, uh, and then eventually uh, stock gains uh, uh, strength so right now here what's happening is there is some level of uh, stocks uh, changing hands like people who are like getting bored or ah ye move nahi kar raha hai like from the weaker hands stocks is shifting is to the to the like some sort of quiet accumulation is possibly happening i mean one cannot say accumulation but yeah something like that uh to come back to your question better entry would have been above this but yes uh, one can also enter here i suppose yeah balu is also sitting uh, at 5 uh, and yeah looks like it also did surf the 5 uh, but more more clearly it's it's a 10 it's a 10 10 surfer like it has almost never clo closed uh, below 10 like almost never hai na to yahan pe dekhi yahan pe like couple of three uh, like maybe one day there was a close that's it after that every day it is only touched even even yesterday did not close so it's more of a 10 surfer uh indigo let's look at indigo so these airlines are also very strong um somehow i am biased against them but uh, they are all of the three uh, aviation names are very strong and uh, possibly for me great flags yeah, yeah so this is like really good price also fall to um broken down the bre breaking down the uh, support yeah is breaking bre broken down the support wood price in last two days lower support no way when has it broken down this is still above the trending line wood price wood oh, crude price, crude, price. Crude, okay. Crude. okay crude oil crude oil yeah because uh, their major profit depend on the atf no right uh, that uh, uh, air turbine fuel right so right. that that price will also come down so they may be expecting uh, some jump in the next uh, next quarterly profit that's why it is holding very strong yeah possible yeah Yeah, because you see the strength in the total uh, last uh, two weeks uh, uh, chop uh, chop market, and they are very good. Um, yeah, but I would believe like uh, there is something more structural to it, uh, because if crude would have been the the reason, the more primary reason, then I'm sure that. there would be other stocks which also would be positively influenced by or positively affected affected by crude so if you go back and check all those are also doing well then then this theory will hold more but i believe mm. like there is more structural uh, to it uh, than just the crude i see okay okay uh khetan kem looks like a pbc yeah khetan kem looks like a pbc but uh, this is like a this is like a uh, not so not so great uh, momentum kind of a stock uh, it's yeah so if you see see uh, if you look at like which stock is higher momentum which is not so if you see khetan chemical ka uh, ka mars it is 2.57 right now whereas if you see balu forge ka mars 48 right now right so so khetan chem would be something more suited for positional uh, not for like that Two three day may fifteen percent kind of a swing, but yes, it's a PVC uh, nonetheless. Inox wind, uh, it's a yes. Inox wind is a VCP. Uh, not on on the daily also it was uh, visible. So it's a it's a two T a T one and this is two T. Uh, minus fourteen percent the first contraction, the second contraction minus ten, one more five percent tight. or 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 should we call this uh, yeah anyways this is a good setup like uh, i uh, one can buy above that pivot here
V1, V E D L, V E D L. So V E D L is a big base right now. Um, yeah. So I did anticipate this uh, some time back, and uh, looks like it's played out really well. Um, uh, excuse me. So. Yeah, so you have a clear pivot in VEDL. I would not anticipate. Uh, uh, I would not anticipate this big base breakouts. Ka anticipate uh, uh, entry inside the base because if you are like a swing sort of swing more swing trader, then it could take some time before it actually takes off. Although, although, although the the setup looks really lucrative when you want to like already make position. The time factor makes it like less lucrative. Like if you are a swing trader, like next couple of days mein, uh, you need the move then Vedanta mein, that next couple of days move nahi bhi aa sakta, you know what might happen that it could go for another T and then eventually break or maybe even for a third T right so, um, so the, but nonetheless this is a clear pivot and that would be a triple B O uh, uh, big base breakout Asian pains version may have benefited from yes uh, this this could be a good point yeah Confidence petrochemical. Confidence petrochemical. Uh, what's happening? Confipet. So Confipet is also sort of like a, a reversal big base breakout, and uh, a lot of this petrochemical sort of names are also doing well uh, recently. So uh, there might be. There might be a case that you can but right now uh, i wouldn't trade this for uh, swing trades because uh, my uh, like i i want relative strength and again although this is now above mars um yeah i would put my money on more stronger names but a valid entry above uh, this pivot it's getting really tight uh, cheers man monish okay uh, no more questions let's stop here and uh, I'll quickly uh, show uh, my uh, how my stuff is going so uh, yeah so this anticipation sort of did not work uh, this day I believe that uh, looking at the volumes coming in I believe that okay techno electric after 50 is probably going to bounce and I also uh, sort of uh, there was some chatter on on news uh, on this uh, name also and uh, yeah um, so that was uh, the this one so although i haven't lost much in the second entry but i would not see this guy close below this level um, if it if it closes i'll try to get out hopefully i get the liquidity to get out uh, and that's the only thing uh, tarel is still uh, the 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 base is really good and uh, इतना तक होल्ड कर ही लिया है तो चलो नेक्स्ट अप मूव अगर आएगा तो उसके लिए मैं होल्ड करने के लिए रेडी हूँ एंड दोज आर क्लियरली द द पोजिशनल ट्रेड्स ग्राविडा आई डी रिस्क इफ अनादर सॉर्ट ऑफ बिग मूव कम्स टिल द ओनिल पिवट प्रॉब्ली सेल हाफ और पुट जी टी टी स्टैगर जी टी टी गुजरात गैस आई एम वेरी वेरी होपफुल दैट देर इज़ अ मूव कमिंग टूमोरो ओके and uh, if that moves come then i will uh, de-risk half and that half would be uh, positional so this is also a very big base breakout and uh, i am i am i'm really uh, really looking forward to this uh, something like how uh, the nrl uh, came came about move came about this is also very similar so we had a very huge volume up move uh, uh, on gap up and then three days of tightness and now it's time um, yeah Balrampur has not worked as I would have liked I thought like we will have a bounce here but it's still a uh, decent enough the leader in the sugar space so I would uh, hold this at least above this pivot uh, pharma FMCG IT is going okay okay and uh, I sold off uh, POCL today so I'll quickly show you because this was a positional trade I wanted to discuss how I handled the uh, the trade management so so uh, the, the the morning it gapped up like this and got a very tight area uh, tight area here so 
टाइट एरिया का ब्रेकआउट होने से दस परसेंट लग जाता और अगर ब्रेकआउट नहीं है तो माने कि मतलब दस परसेंट लगने वाला इसमें सॉर्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ नहीं है सो दैट वॉज माई आइडिया माई आइडिया वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट जस्ट दैट माई आइडिया वॉज मोर ऑन दी रिस्क मैनेजमेंट साइड की आई वॉज ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट अप ऑन दिस नेम सो आई वुड नॉट वन सी इट कम बैक टू लाइक फिफ्टीन एटीन और ऑफ सॉर्ट्स राइट सो देन आई हैड अ जी टी टी आई थिंक अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू एटी और सो बिलो दी टेन टेन ट्वेंटी या सो आई थिंक दिस इज टेन टेन थ्री आई हैड टेन टू या सो राइट बिलो दिस वॉज माई वॉज माई जी टी टी सेल ट्रिगर एंड इट एंड एंड इट डिड ट्रिगर आई थिंक somewhere here i'm not sure um so yeah so that was how i i i i uh, got out of this and this could again still uh, uh uh contract and then form another pivot and if that happens then hopefully we'll get back again um uh, so 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 that was pocl and there's a good good trade uh, like a 2% is afa in in the in the account okay okay uh, that's all from my side um and uh, at last i would really like to thank you all for all the happy teachers day wishes um i yeah uh, yeah very glad very very thankful and uh, very grateful for all the wishes although i don't think i deserve uh, all of that but uh, i acknowledge your all of your good wishes thank you so much um, i'll also write a message in the chat for everyone to uh, see that who did not uh, come to the session and uh, also wish you guys as well happy teachers day i have learned from all of you as much as you uh, guys have learned from me uh, okay so with that note uh, bye bye see you tomorrow and uh, have a good night bye thank you thank you so much bye rupak ji good night good night